Hi friends, today we are going to learn how to install Sakura Anonymous OS on pen drive for live booting. So first of all open your web browser and navigate to sakwareos.weebly.com sakwareos.weebly.com that's s4kw4r3os.weebly.com load the site it's official site of sakware anonymous os uh, you can get all the de details here uh, then get to how to make live boot this section and click on download win32 disk imager as soon as you click on this you will be navigated to mediafire link which is my file sharing client so wait for download to be ready and download the file uh, click on green download button which shows the size of file that's 11.72 MB so it will start downloading I will cancel it here because I have downloaded it earlier it was just to show you how to download the win32 disk imager now uh, you can close the web browser or let it be open that's no harm go to a search menu uh, in Windows 7 it may be anything else uh, and depends on your operating system how it look like it's Windows 10 so it's like this uh, in search menu type win and disk image should be on top of list so just click on it when it prompts for administrative rights click on yes and allow it to do so then you should be able to see this window small window in front of you click on the folder icon in front of you and you will be nav navigated to a different window uh, in which you have to select your operating system so go where you have downloaded your operating system and select this part of disk image and IMG format to universal format you will be able to see all the applications there select your ISO file click open uh, from here you should select your device in this point be careful because when you select your device it can be your hard disk drive or another drive which will be formatted after the procedure so first of all make sure this is my pen drive and it has drive letter I so I should select only drive letter I from it after all things are done click on write this will show you a warning that uh, all data will be formatted and can be corrupted just ignore it and click yes then the process will start and you should be able to see the progress bar showing uh, you the progress of data written in your pen drive so wait for it to complete and after it is completed uh, you should not be able to use your pen drive as disk imager configures your pen drive to be a CD drive or disk drive so it will not show up as a regular USB drive in your Windows PC also you cannot store data on your USB drive as it is uh, rewritten or reconfigured what else you say in CD drive format and it has been virtually burned the ISO file into it it is embedded ISO file so you cannot write the data in it uh, so I suggest you to choose such a pen drive or such a state drive which has almost 3 to 4 GBs of memory that's enough for anonymous OS or any other OS you can burn any OS like this uh, and it will work out finally so be sure you don't want to use that uh, pen drive after completing the process as you will not be able to use it again you will only be able to use it for the purpose of live boot of operating systems so let's wait for the process to complete 
and I will leave you here uh, after the process is complete there is nothing to do with anything just close this window it will show you write successful message close this window and remove your pen drive no option will be going to come in front of you like remove safely or whatever you say because it is not a pen drive anymore it is CD drive so just plug it out of your computer and next time you boot select boot from USB drive in your PC or you can google it like open your browser and google the term that how to I will just show you here type how to boot and put your PC name or US uh, CPU name sorry CPU name here uh, so that you can get the configuration files for it so I am going to say how to boot Sony laptop from USB put something like this all the results will come in front of you configure your laptop according to it um, the F2 key F12 key and function 10 key are generally used and considered as booting device keys so you can use that for setting USB that's your job in next video I will show you how to configure your laptop or your CPU for USB booting capabilities after you do that just restart your PC with the pen drive inserted in it so your PC will be able to recognize the pen drive and initialize the operating system in it so I think it's we have reached the end here so I will show you how it ends like and what you have to do after its end okay after complete and successful write on your pen drive this will show uh, write successful dialog click ok close your 32 disk imager now you should see here as I told you your USB drive is renamed as USB drive and uh, it is non usable you cannot use it when you try to open it it will say you to format the disk drive but do not do it really do not do it because if you format the disk drive all the operating system in it will be formatted and you will lose your data so just plug out your device easily and you can now boot it from your PC uh, and any other PC not only from your PC any other PC which support USB boot so thanks for watching please download and use anonymous OS it's worth it thank you and have a nice day